Hey guys, this is Sohinky and Wes from Mahalo Games, and this is a strategy video for Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. So starting right off here for the first few waves, uh, what you're going to want to do is use your pistol to just rack up a few points, uh, probably two or three shots, and then use your knife to kill them. That'll get you the maximum amount of points you can get from each zombie. After about the first round, you're going to want to pick up the M14 off the wall, but not use it for about, oh, what do you say, round four? Round four is probably about where you're going to want to start using the M14. You could get away with just using your pistol and knife that round, but the M14 is going to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed and die in a really stupid way. It, even if you are going to use the knife that round, it's always nice to have a backup, just in case. Very, very true. So the first few rounds are just kind of all about staying in this one little room here uh, as long as you can. Uh, really, if you can last until round six or seven uh, in just this room, it's a good idea because it's pretty easy to cover. There's only a few entrances, so uh, as long as you can stay in this room, I would. Uh, when you get to about level six, I believe, you're going to want to start looking for the power button. You're going to want to make it all the way around the stage one of the directions so you can find the random box. Because once you turn the power on, the light board shows up and it'll show you exactly where the random box is so you don't have to do a lot of random searching. In addition, uh, turning on the power also does things like allows you to activate traps, uh, allows you to turn on the turret, and most importantly for this strategy video, it allows you to activate the teleporter, which is a very, very huge help. Yes, it is. And, and in fact, that is actually one of the things we found that you, for surviving into the later levels, it is a requirement that we found. Yeah, basically what the teleporter does, uh, it warps you up to the projector room uh, right above the actual theater. Uh, the cool thing about it is if you actually sit in the teleporter and kind of wait till you're surrounded and then activate it, uh, it, it'll kill all the zombies standing right around you. Um, now, part of zombies is actually luck, really. Uh, getting the really good items from the random box. Um, the, the key is just racking up as much points as you can, so hopefully, you know, one of the times you use it, you will get lucky and uh, get, get the ray gun or the thunder gun. Um, explosives do wonders just because it'll knock off their legs and it's easier to get away from them. Yeah. In uh, some of the earlier levels, like 10, 11, 12, the launchers, like the grenade launcher, the M79, uh, they will kill the, all the zombies, but in later levels it'll just blow their legs off, but that helps a lot because they're sl so slow at that point. Uh, and you can actually, at the end of the round, you can keep a couple of them alive and use the random box to or let the teleporter recharge. Very true. And uh, one thing that you're going to want to remember is that the teleporter actually needs to be relinked every single round. So uh, what we found is the best solution is uh, take one of the slower zombies, uh, like a crawler, or if you've blown one in half and he's just kind of walking around, and leave him up. Um, that way, especially if you get a teddy bear, which uh, makes the random box change locations, uh, you have as much time as you need to go find it. Um, you can take the time to relink the teleporter, get that ready for the next round, and basically just prepare yourself for the onslaught. And it, it's pretty much the same strategy that was in the World at War games, but at the same time, you know, the teleporter is definitely a new thing. Um, and you got to make sure that you save up once you get a good gun for the pack a punch perk, which is up in the projector room, because that is a definite 100% requirement for the later levels, as even the ray gun is taking up the five shots to kill. Very, very true. Uh, especially, like, around level 20, I believe, even with the upgraded ray gun, it was taking three or four shots every time, uh, and it was at least two headshots. Uh, yes, it was. So, uh, just make sure at the end of each round, especially uh, round 10 and beyond, you're going to want to leave those, uh, those last zombies up so that you can run around and find the random box. Uh, use the teleporter when you get surrounded, and, um... Anything to add there, Wes? Uh, yeah, and just make sure that you're picking up all the perks. Like, right off the bat, even before I used the random box for the first time, I picked up Juggernaut because that is by far the most important perk. Um, you get taken down in about two hits without it, and it's about six with, when you have it. Another, the second best perk you need to get is the speed perk, which helps you sprint faster and it helps you reload. So when you're getting surrounded by those zombies and you have to reload a clip, it's not taking, you know... 20 seconds to reload it takes like three or four seconds and that is a big thing especially with the launchers because the m79 as you see here uh if you use it it just reloads really 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 fast and then it helps you just get out of those surrounded situations 
Very true. Actually, the random box, uh, you kind of have to get lucky with, but the one constant really in this mode is the power-ups. You really, really need to, at the very least, make sure that you have Juggernaut. Um, I know there was one of the dog rounds where I got hit four or five times and I still stayed up. So, uh, definitely good to have. Um, on the dog rounds, that's something that we didn't cover. Uh, one of the things you want to do uh, is really, I mean, every other round you don't really want to back yourself into a corner, but putting yourself in a corner against the dogs is smart. Uh, not that many come at you at once, and um, when you're in the corner, it's actually really easy to dodge them. So it, it's good, you know where they're coming from, and they don't take that many hits to kill. No, no, that's right. Uh, even in the later rounds, the dogs are still pretty easy. It's it's simply the earlier rounds that they're harder because you don't have the good weapons that you're going to have in the later levels. Uh, so I think that's it. Um, stay tuned. We're going to be putting up the uh, round that we actually developed these strategies when we got to round 22. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, no. thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. All right, enjoy. Thanks.